Okay, this was a quick tutorial to help you understand when you run a regression, what happens with factor variables, and then also how to kind of change the base level of the factor. So I'm just going to do it on the default data set, which is related to diamonds. And this again loads up as soon as you start radiant. So if we go into model linear regression, and I'm going to go ahead and choose price as the response variable and choose the four C's. And so here we'll estimate the model. And what you'll see is that for each of these that are factors, namely clarity, cut, and color, that you'll see basically the different levels for each of the ones um, shown. Now, in general, if you put a factor into the regression model, it's going to show you all of the levels except for one. And one of them is kind of tucked into the intercept. And so as an example, you'll see that cut we have good, very good, premium, and ideal. But in fact, the one of the levels of cut is missing. So if you go to data and you actually look at cut, you can see, let me see here, view, and then just cut. You can also see that fair is one of the levels and it's not showing. And so in the regression model, you might wonder, well, how come it's not there? And basically, any in, in the way that it works is it's always going to put one of them into the intercept. And so all of these are basically relative to the one that's missing and included in the intercept. And so what it's really saying here is that a relative to fair cut, good, very good, premium, ideal, all merit uh, price premium. And that kind of makes sense. If you wanted to change the one that's actually included in the intercept, you could go to um, here data and then transform. And what we do is pick cut as a factor and then scrolling down transformation type, we would choose reorder levels. So here you can see that. And now you'll notice that f the reason why the regression model tucks fair into the intercept is because that's the first one. And so just as a, uh, Kind of a thought experiment will move ideal down to the first level and so now you'll see ideal fair good very good and premium and we'll go ahead and store those changes and go back to our regression model and re-estimate it you'll notice that now ideal since it's the first level is tucked into the intercept and you'll see fair good very good and premium here and now notice what happens to all the coefficients now they're all negative because relative to ideal all of these are going to have uh, kind of uh, lose, I mean, the price is going to be relatively lower for each of these levels in comparison to the ideal uh, cut level. And so again, that's kind of the interpretation. Since, it, since ideal is considered to be the one that's on by default as being in the intercept, that you basically have to reduce the price if one of these are on. Um, and that, and that kind of makes sense. So again, th the other way to think about it is that if if you had an ideal cut diamond, then all the dummy variables associated with these four levels would be off, and that the intercept basically is reflecting the price of the ideal. Um, okay, I think that's it. So in short, that's how factors are dealt with in the regression model, and that's also how you can change the one that's in the base, and hopefully this will help you get your homework done um, in, in the regression model related to house prices.